Welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has four scriptures. The first is the book of Psalms, Psalm 95, verses 6 through 11 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest." The second scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 3 through 7. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. The third scripture is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The fourth and final scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 11 through 18. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, the small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now for the message given from the Lord God on July the 13th, 2022. <clears throat> a trap, a binding snare. It will come upon you whilst unaware. Those who don't prepare will care, for they will be caught up in it. This trap, one mishap, is all it takes to be removed from the human race. Obli obligatory concerns saying, Well, I have to do it. There are no other alternatives. I will be hungry and homeless and on the streets. Those without faith in me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, will be fearful and scared, for they are not prepared of what's coming in the very near future. It's the mark, a chip, a chip in your hand or forehead to buy or sell. Do not take it. 
or you will go to hell, exclamation you point at the end of the sentence, you will go to hell in all capital letters, for it alters your DNA structure. You will be changed and no longer of the father's seed. Read Revelation 13 in my holy word. Very soon it will become realized. If you take it, you will no longer be of me, my family. You will be corrupted by Satan and by Satan, unrecognizable to the father and me. You don't have to worry for if you are left behind, I will take good care of you. I will send my earth angels to feed and shelter you until my return. But you must learn of me. Learn who I am. I died on a cross at Calvary for forgiveness of your sins. If you pray right away and repent, it may still be possible for you to come up with me the first time. Time is so very short. I exhort unto you to get on your knees and onto your faces. Bow down before me and allow me to render you unto my good graces. It won't be long now, my beloved, so pray to be deemed worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven today. Read my word and get to know who your Savior is. I long for a much more personal relationship with every one of my children. I urge you to come back into the fold before the door is shut. Once the determination is made, you will be left behind to endure through the trials of the Great Tribulation. Time will not rewind, for it must go forward. Admit you're a sinner and ask for forgiveness. Believe on me today and you will be the winner of my free gift of salvation. The countdown is here. Prepare, 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 and soon I will see you in the air, exclamation point, with undying love, Jesus, your Savior. So this message is a warning, and it's a very urgent warning. For those of you who are still lost and lukewarm, and it talks about a trap that is coming to those of you who don't know your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, it says, a trap, a binding snare, it will come upon you whilst unaware. Those who don't prepare will care, for they will be caught up in it. This trap, one mishap, is all it takes to be removed from the human race. Obligatory concern saying, well, I have to do it. There are no other alternatives. I will be hungry and homeless and on the streets. Those without faith in me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, will be fearful and scared for they are not prepared of what's coming in the very near future. It's the mark, a chip in your hand or forehead to buy or sell. Do not take it or you will go to hell. So he's laying it out there straightforward to you. And further down. He tells you to read Revelation 13. That's what I just read to you, the last scripture. It says, if you take it, you will no longer be of me, my family. You will be corrupted by Satan, unrecognizable to the Father and me. And then he gives you hope in the next paragraph. You don't have to worry, for if you are left behind, I will take good care of you. I will send my earth angels to feed and shelter you until my return, but you must learn of me. Learn who I am. I died on a cross at Calvary for forgiveness of your sins. If you pray right away and repent, it may still be possible for you to come up with me the first time. So he's telling you it's very urgent. You need to pray right away. It says here further down, I exhort unto you to get on your knees and onto your faces. Bow down before me and allow me to render you unto my good graces. It won't be long now, my beloved, so pray to be deemed worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven today. And then he's just telling you to read his word. These are my words. He wants a much more personal relationship with you. It says further down, I urge you to come back into the fold before the door is shut. 
Once the determination is made, you will be left behind to endure through, <clears throat> excuse me, the trials of the great tribulation. Time will not rewind, for it must go forward. Admit you are a sinner and ask for forgiveness. Believe on me today, and you will be the winner of my free gift of salvation. The countdown is here. Prepare, 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 and soon I will see you in the air. So, I really believe that time is so very short. We're in mere seconds remaining. Just look at what's going on with the president over in the Middle East signing, trying to sign a peace deal over there with Israel and the Palestinians. Just open your Bibles and you can see the prophecies just jumping right off of the pages. And pretty soon they have everything ready to implement this MOB in this new system, this one world system. And they'll make it virtually impossible if you're left behind to even live unless you take it. Do not take it because you will no longer be of the human race and you will be unrecognizable to the Father and you will go straight to hell to be tormented in the lake of fire forever. So please take heed to this warning. Those of you who believe we're going back to normal, we are not going back to normal. Please learn of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who he is, what he did for forgiveness of your sins. Repent now, pray to be deemed worthy, love him wholeheartedly, and you will go up the first time with him. And may God bless you.